Hello Taurus and welcome to your next three months tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you, Taurus. So what I've done is I've taken your 2023 yearly tarot reading and I've pulled out the relevant cards for October, November, December 2023. In October, we have Justice. The moon is in November and December is the Three of Wands. So I'm going to pull some additional cards by month, go through the overarching messages that I'm getting as well as any individual ones because a lot can happen in one month, let alone three in different areas of our life. So what do we have for Taurus, please, starting with Justice in October? Message for Taurus. Thank you. We have the Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, and we have the Four of Cups. November for Taurus, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Page of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides in December time. Message for Taurus. Thank you. The Five of Swords. We have the King of Wands, can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. And we have the Five of Wands. So I'm going to pull some additional Angel, Oracle, Energy cards at the end of this reading, but let's have a look at these cards to start off with. So let's start with Justice here, Taurus. So Justice can be naturally linked with justice, the justice system. It can be linked with legal processes, government institutions, unions, official entities. So there may well be some significant decision that you're expecting in October time. It could well be to do with a process that you might be going through. This can be a just and fair decision because it's your overarching energy this feels like it's a just and fair decision, if that's the case, that's in the light of truth that restores balance and harmony. So this can be very favourable for you when it appears in your reading, especially with official things. Now, it could be official things in other areas of life as well. Mortgage applications, contracts, um, green cards, you know. So it's the kind of like official energy. So you might well be getting some kind of decisions to do with official things you know coming your way in general it's quite favorable for you when it appears in your reading <clears throat> it's all about that sense of balance you know with justice how we bring that sense of balance back into our life and if you're if you're making some kind of significant decision if it's not to do with something that you're going through Justice is all about making a decision in truth, being truthful with ourselves, you know. So it might well be that there's some significant decision. If it's not something going on in your external environment, there may well be some decision that you need to make from within here, Taurus, this month. Now, the Six of Swords, like I said, if this was a process that you're going through, this can be the worst is behind you and you're moving forward to better times. Uh, so this feels like... Uh, there's positive transitions, positive shifts. You can finally put something behind you, the worst being behind you, and you finally move to that sense of calm, um, a feeling of greater calm, feeling that you're heading in the right direction here. So it can energetically affect us, the Six of Swords. It can also be physically, you know, and practically just feeling maybe that um, you can put something behind you because you've got some significant decision. Now, yes, this can be also to do with travel. So like I said, things like, you know, green cards um, overseas, you know, moving from A to B, you know, this can be a significant thing as well. Uh, 
moving, getting a, some kind of contract which allows you to move from A to B or move out of stormy waters, you know, so there could be some kind of contractual thing coming in as well. So however this resonates for you, uh, the Six of Swords is the worst is behind you and you start moving forward to better times. Now, and again, the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups, if that was the case, this can be, you may have had um, offers of support, help, assistance. It's not limited to, I mean, it, this is always um, heart driven with the Knight of Cups, male or female. Can I do anything? What can I do? Um, I'll offer you this support. It could even be financial, but it's driven by love. Uh, so however that manifests for you here, Taurus, you might have gone through some uh, time here, process that you've been going through. And again, this can be, then there will be some kind of offer coming in and you need to decide whether you want to accept it or not. That could be anything in terms of contracts, um, settlements, uh, payouts, awards, uh, whatever this justice represents for you. It might well be, are you, if we offer you this, are you happy with it? Um, so again, this process can be the case here. In love, romance, relationships, and this can be relationships of any kind, there is clearly an offer to heal here. The Knight of Cups can be an offer of love. It can be, you know, it's driven by love. It's, it can be apologies, heartfelt expressions, uh, someone offering love, wanting to move on, bring happy change between the two of you. And it might all be some kind of healing here is going on here. With the Four of Cups, this is, I need to think about it. I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. You don't want to rush into this because really this is an energy here where consideration is needed. Sometimes if we act in haste, we can regret it. We can regret our choices. So I feel this is the month where you're just kind of like you're reflecting, you're considering, you're evaluating whether you accept the offer that you're being given by this person to heal, to put difficulty behind you and move on from a situation here. Uh, and again, with justice being here, this is all about you are going to come to that conclusion in your own time. Justice is in my truth, I know. I know what I need to do. I know what the right decision is for me. And being comfortable with that, you know? Because whatever decision we make, we, we're accountable, you know? We're accountable for how things unfold moving forward. So this is the energy here of there could well be some kind of offer of love, expression of love, apologies, heartfelt gestures. It's to do with healing. This can be deep down, you know, you know what the right thing to do is for you. Sometimes the right thing isn't always the easy thing. Additional messages with the card here, Taurus. Um, I just want to pull out the Six of Swords as well. This can also be a very positive energy to appear in your reading. Like I said, a lot can happen in different areas of our life in one month, let alone three. So if this was about balance, getting balance back in your life after going through some kind of health issue, for you or somebody that you're caring about, I feel you're sorting it out. You're finding that way forward. Uh, you're dealing with it coming into October and you're finding that solution to bring that sense of calm and harmony back into your life. This could, again, the worst is behind you and you start moving forward to better time. So positive changes potentially in terms of health areas, whether it's mental or physical. Could even be you know, awards or payouts for health issues. I mean, justice, like I said, can cover all areas. You know, uh, that could be, you know, copyright, that could be um, litigation, it could be divorce, it can be, you know, division of assets, can be inheritance, um, health claims, you know, so Remember this energy, in, you know, these energies can, it, the message remains the same. However, the specifics are, the worst is going to be behind you and you finally, fi finally feel that sense of calm, moving to, to, towards that sense of calm, putting the worst behind you. So always a very positive card. I really like the Six of Swords energy. It's one of my favorite cards in tarot because whatever's gone on, it feels like finally you're putting the worst of it behind you. Now we're going to move on to November time. So the moon is sometimes when there's lack of clarity and uncertainty here. There's fear factor as well. 
So the moon energy is linked with hidden blessings. We don't always understand how spirit supports us, um, guides us, works behind the scenes a lot of the time. But intuitively, we're guided. So you might have a strong intuitive energy this month uh, with the moon card. Uh, you're going to be pulled in a particular direction. You're going to you're going to just know, you're going to get that kind of sixth sense about situations. You're going to be discerning through your intuition. You're going to understand how to intuitively respond to situations here. This is all that moon energy. You don't know why, you just feel it. And sometimes we just have to surrender and trust that. So there's going to be a level of uncertainty. Not everything is going to be clear to you, but there's going to be powerful intuitive energy to support you here with the moon. This can also be linked with things like um, powerful dreams as well. Not being sure that all is as it seems right now, but um, intuitively you're going to be guided this month. And like I said, it's very good in terms of hidden blessings. We don't always see how something's going to play out. We just have to kind of like trust and that would be the energy here. We have some work energy here, Taurus. So again, the Eight of Pentacles can be to do with um, a work scenario. So if there is some kind of uncertainty, could be to do with your business and a project that you're working on, uh, your company in some way uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, what you do with the Eight of Pentacles, you do very well, you're productive. But it might well be this is the scenario here where you're really working hard. It, might be it can be quite a tiring energy, these two cards together, um, because there's some kind of uncertainty that you're dealing with. And that would be the same if there's been employment changes as well, uh, working hard to build back up, if that was the case too. The, the message with the Eight of Pentacles has an additional one in, in the sense that it can also be linked with things like education, skills development, uh, adding to your repertoire, your portfolio to make you more attractive, to really get more money. That would be the energy here to, you know, make you more attra attractive as an employed, employable asset or an employee, you know, so, or to um, develop your business in some way. So this can be, there's just a lot of hard work uh, going on. You're working hard and there's reasons for that. There is something to do with uncertainty. Things aren't quite clear to you and you're just surrendering and trusting in how you're discerning the situation and responding to it. And it looks in this respect here, Taurus, with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is you're, you're nearly at the end of this, whatever this hard work is, the, where you might have been tested. I mean, there's, there's a number of reasons with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands can be we persevere on a path but this is, it's nearly over. Uh, it could well be whatever you've been going through here coming into November, whatever uncertainty lies for you, we persevere. And actually you're just, you know, not far away. You're so close to the end of something. So there's a lot of perseverance energies going on here, but you're being very productive and you're working towards a goal. You're working towards, um, certainly in terms of money, uh, either getting back in terms of greater abundance and stability or achieving greater financial stability and success through hard work and effort. And even skills development, adding to your repertoire and portfolio, like I said. Page of Swords, um, there may well be some kind of message coming in here so this can be uh, very positive. It can be linked with the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. I feel that there's just a very strong emphasis in terms of money areas here, um, work areas here with the moon energy, the page of swords, the eight of pentacles and the nine of wands. This definitely feels here, Taurus, like um, there may well be something that we have this sense of uncertainty, but then something comes in that is like that sense of, I want to say a kind of breath of fresh air, where it might well be this is presenting something new to you. 
because I feel in this respect with the nine of wands energy like I said we just have to keep on persevering you're nearly at the end of something something may have been testing something may have been difficult that you've been going through um, but then it just feels like something breaks here there's some kind of message or news in some way now I see this linking over to December if that's the case because we have the five of wands this can be a card of competition competing absolutely being in it to win it as I always kind of nickname this card uh, you want to win you know you can compete against other people this can actually be about competing for jobs and business opportunities but it can also be competing for uh, business if it's your own business competing for um, again we mentioned contracts we mentioned um, new business clients sales um, so however that manifests for you here but you're in it to win it that's for sure here king of wands may well be influential for you this person is generally male or female fire energy this person is exciting to be around they're very confident um, they're very driven very successful action orientated empowered so it could well be somebody in a, a position of command and authority you're connecting to this month now this can be a leader in business they can hold the wand of opportunity as well for you but it's not limited to this this could be a, maybe a decision maker that you're connecting to here and you're competing for something from this person this person is very favorable for you because they're appearing in your reading and i want to go to the overarching energy here taurus with the three of wands you feel that you're getting somewhere um three of wands is yeah the steps that i've taken my ships are coming in i can see those ships coming into harbor i can see success coming my way i feel it um and you can see you know in the distance those ships are coming in so whatever you're taking steps towards whatever this effort and t energy that you're putting your time and energy into um dealing with some level of uncertainty here it looks like you're really turning something around it really feels like you're you're taking empowered steps really i feel this is november into december and from the actions that you have taken where you have put your effort and time could well be to either protect your financial stability advance it um, get back on track with it regardless of the circumstances this is success is coming your way and you can see the first signs of success you just feel it because you're in it to win it here now the five of swords can also be about competing but this is a victory so this is what i'm saying it's it's a card of you win these cards together uh if you're in it to win it here you win this is a, a significant hard-won victory but nevertheless there is a victory here and again other areas here Taurus if this was connected to some kind of legal process where you felt that yeah things are even moving forward well um you might have had some kind of conversations here going on through October and November if it didn't complete in October these energies would also apply to maybe a legal process government and governmental institution arbitration unions independent official things this would be a very good card these would be very good cards of victory triumph and success too so I'm going to look at the other messages that I'm getting though I do feel like I've kind of covered quite a lot um yeah let's go into this other areas of life the page of swords can actually be um, an idea it can be linked to um, epiphanies brainwaves um, a brilliant idea so there may well be something coming your way here Taurus again if you, there's even a level of uncertainty uh, intuitively you might think actually this is what I want to do 
I've got an idea. It could well be on how to sort something out. Um, and it can even be putting work and energy into that. Uh, if you're dealing with something that has been testing, you know, so this can be actually very good in terms of brilliant ideas that you might want to kind of like put into action in November time. Also very good in terms of communication being key this month, conversations, communications. Um, and generally with the Page of Swords, um, these are conversations, communications, messages that link to the new. So we have some level of uncertainty here, but there's definitely something new coming your way in November. And yeah, I just want to go to this with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands can be when we're when we're just tested um, and we just we've just battled on this can be the reverse of this here Taurus is if you have been for example working for a current company and again with the nine of wands you might not be sure whether you want to continue working for that company anymore Again, the, the moon energy can be, um, there could be a level of uncertainty or uh, where you're not sure. And again, the page of swords could be having a new conversation or there could be a new message that it could even be from a headhunter even that may well make you think this might well be my get out route. This might well be the route forward that I need to follow to to remove myself from the situation, especially if you've, been, if you've been tested in your current circumstances. So these energies can actually be also the reverse, you know, um, if you have, if you're not wanting to put any more time and effort into a current place of work because you don't think it's worth it, because you don't think it's productive, because you don't feel like you're getting where you want to be, this can be that sense of, again, uh, the change that comes in, uh, where you're in it to win it to get something else. Either way, there's definitely a change of course here, moving in a different direction that I'm seeing for you. And it's by what you've taken steps towards here. Your ships are coming in. So these are very good in terms of the financial money career scene. And those are... Those are the significant messages I'm getting. I'm not really actually getting any other, you know, a lot of the time this is intuitive energy. Um, Three of Wands is just a lovely energy here of, of empowered action and really bringing that sense of new success your way, manifesting that new path. Um, and by your actions, feeling, feeling really positive about how things are moving forward with that kind of like success coming your way. It just feels like that's where I'm feeling the, the focus is for you. Maybe in November to December here. And you're being told don't lose sight of those dreams. Um, you know, certainly, even though there may well be uh, some level of uh, uncertainty, I feel intuitively, you know what you need to do. And it's trusting that intuition. In all aspects of life, really, in November time, because it's guiding you and even setting you up for success coming your way December time. All right, Taurus, I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael message. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Taurus. Next three months for Taurus. Yeah, very apt for the reading. We have number 32. The way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. I'm going to pull you an energy card. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the next three months. Mm. 
Yeah, we have number 26, empowerment. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. And we have Earth, while well, you're an Earth sign. Number 24. The frequency of Earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our Great Mother and revealing the more ethereal, spiritual and aspects of our nature. I'm going to pull you a colour card as well. The colour might be relevant for you for the next three months. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus. Thank you. Of course, we've got green. <laughs> it's very earth energy. Growth as well. This is growth. We have green. Revitalize your nervous system, number 31. Let's pull you a fortune card. Fortunes for Taurus, please, Angel Spirits Guides, next three months. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Thank you. That, oh, that's lovely. The Sun. Now, the Sun is the most positive card in tarot for me as a reader. Uh, so we have number 30, the Sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. I mean, we said growth before, didn't we? I'm really picking up on the energy. The sun in tarot represents good news, celebration, joy, happiness, success, light after dark. Uh, it would be a, a resounding yes in terms of answers. And yeah, it's, it's such a lovely energy. Generally, when the sun appears in, an, in the reading in any format, it's the kind of energy that there's going to be light after dark. Everything works out. All right, I'm going to pull you a final message from the Angel and Ancestors Oracle deck. So a message from the Angels and Ancestors for Taurus. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. I flew out. We have warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Bear with me, okay. Don't back down, make your opinions heard. Don't settle for second best. If you're experiencing fear at this time, Know that this means whatever is going on is important to you. Whenever you feel fear, you're on the verge of something big, perhaps a massive breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward. If you have a situation on your hands where you have to face someone or something that's been unsettling, you know that you are being guided to call upon your inner warrior. Don't falter and don't be frightened because you have the energy to protect yourself now and at all times. That's a lovely message. That's what I have for you, Taurus, for the next three months. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful October, November and December and I will see you next time.